do you think the the world record buck is walking around right now somewhere uh easier to imagine a uh, typical than a non-typical obviously uh, just because the sheer amount of antler they have to grow i mean but but we have seen like with the minnesota monarch sheds in the late 80s i mean even up in the middle of nowhere you can have one deer grow to be world record class that he just never got killed but he was theoretically right about the same size as the, as the missouri monarch you know three 330 something score um it's easier to imagine a typical because he would have to grow quote only a little over 200 inches if he grew it perfectly and that's a lot less yeah. than growing 350 right nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless there when you start getting into frames that are that are in excess of let's say 212 215 220 uh, you get up into that in the high 20s and, and 230, which is as big as we've ever seen, really. 236, that uh, Tim Beck buck out of, at, from Fort Wayne a few years ago, he's got a 236 typical frame, and he's a 305 non-typical. I mean, he's just, they don't get any better than that. I mean, that's just as big as deer get. But um, it's easy for me to imagine a deer like that being clean and maybe beating Hanson. Maybe, but if you look back through history, it was in 1995. So this is two years after Milo shoots his deer. Uh, we're in Dallas at the Boone and Crockett Convention. It's just been officially awarded. He's gotten his award at the banquet. I mean, he's he's the man now. He's got two 13 and 5 eighths official, totally the world record. Nobody's even going to question that. The Brian Damry buck was there. The Bruce Ewan buck was there. Those are both 200 inch net typicals, and they were way down the list from Hanson at the same banquet. Okay, so that was a t that was a big time for big whitetail, uh, typical whitetails. But I told Milo at dinner that night, I said, I said, hey, it's not going to last five years. He said, well, why did you say that? I said, well, there's just too many big deer out there now. I said, there weren't as many 100 years ago as there are now. I said, any day, I mean, cameras and lasers and you, all the stuff we have now, I said, and management, somebody, I just think somebody's going to break it. Well, that was, let's see, what is that, like 27 years ago that I was an idiot then, and I'm, st I'm still an idiot now, right? I mean, I, <laughs> nobody, has, nobody has broken it officially. I'll put it that way. You, you see any sheds that are close? Uh, oh, you know, that OG buck out of uh, southern Ohio a few years ago was maybe close. Uh, I don't think he was clean enough, but I think he would gross enough. Um Oh, there was a deer killed uh, Southern Kentucky that, you know, is on the internet today. I mean, the retired game warden killed him. They have scored him, whether it will hold up or not, I don't know, but they scored him at 200 and I think three eighths net. But his gross typical, if score, as they scored him, was like 220 and six eighths. That's as big as Hanson, just not quite as clean. So, you know, I mean, he's unbalanced and all that, but he's, that's a deer out of a part of Kentucky that nobody's flocking to to kill giant deer every year like they are Saskatchewan or Alberta or Iowa. But nonetheless, it only takes one, right? It only takes that one special freak, you know, that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar kind of a, you know, short parents and then a kid grows to be seven foot four. And where did that come from? Well, that's the same way with deer. Just sometimes they just fall out of the sky and it only takes one of them to do what we're talking about. It's just that we keep holding our breath, waiting for that day. And I'm holding it after 27 years, I'm starting to turn blue. So, you know, I just don't <laughs> think I'm going to see it, but I'm not gonna say that it can't happen. I just don't think I'll see it. Hey everybody, if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.